Welcome back to Afternoon Express. Where to me, we have got one of the first families of South Africa helping us put together budget-friendly meals. Yes, Palisa, and I'm looking forward to making this recipe with them, actually. Yeah, I love <laughs> it. They've been doing a sterling job throughout the show. But now, we're about to make sure if they are the real deal. I mean, we've been forced to think outside of the box when preparing meals for our families lately. And that means making the most of all of our ingredients. Now, this is why our next recipe is perfect and combines convenience, sophistication, and cost-effectiveness in one dish. I'm talking about our heavenly beef rice patties with monkey gland sauce that is just filling and penny saving too. So, Dumi, I'm all about keeping things uh, economical mm -hmm. in the kitchen, but also not skimping out on taste. Definitely, Palissa, and this is why I love this dish. I love the fact that we're taking some of our favorites. For me, I say our because I know <laughs> I love me a good burger. So, we're taking a burger and then we're flipping it on its head because we're not just making a tasty burger we're making it go a long way we are adding rice into the actual patty yeah so to start it off Palisa, I'm gonna make the actual filling that's gonna go into our patty I've got some egg, uh, eggs in here I'm gonna whisk them up with some milk um, and to this I'm also gonna add my Worcestershire show <laughs> <that thing. laughs> into we know our what you're mentioning you know exactly what I mean <laughs> some salt and pepper and a, a bit of ginger then we're gonna add our beef mince some rice and some onions and then form our patties for the beef burgers love that Dumi. Um, I love the fact here that you are using some delicious Excella rice to accompany my Excella oil. Now, what I love about this oil, I've put quite a generous amount in the pan as it's going to help me cook through my delicious sauce here that Domi has me making. But this oil is light, clear, odorless, and it is also suitable for frying, grilling, baking, and just so much more. Another part about this um, oil that I just love, Rolene and Wena Deline, is that at the end of the day, it's got this beautiful... Um, um, neutral taste almost. So it doesn't matter what other ingredients or flavors you're adding, it does not kind of dilute it, but instead it amplifies that flavor, meaning delicious every time. Definitely, Palissa. I see, uh, Rolene, you already started on the lettuce for us because any burger, no burger is complete without that layering of the, you know, the lettuce and then the tomato. A bit of crunch. Uh, that crunch, you know, that freshness, which is what you're all about. You've just mentioned about how you're very much on the health conscious side. So I feel like the best way to make a burger much lighter is adding some of those ingredients to it. So to make our patties, Palisa, I'm going to be uh, adding our excellent rice, which you just mentioned right now. And the one thing I love about excellent rice is that it goes a long way, Palisa. One cup of excellent rice gives you two cups. It cooks fluffy and white every time, Rolene. Every time I've used it, I've never been disappointed. And I love the fact that I can incorporate it into any dish because of the fact that it's not of a beautiful, light flavor, it's nutty flavor, it actually is perfect for any type of family. Uh, Daniel, I see you've also started with the, the buns there. How far are you looking? How are you looking there? I'm done. Okay. <laughs> For you, chef to me, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> awesome stuff. Palace, as you can see, I've started mixing together now. I've added the mince and our excellent rice, which is cooked perfectly. Mm -hmm. I normally do suggest if you're going to be making such type of a dish, cook the rice a little bit underdone because what you want is you want that nuttiness of it. And as it fries on the griddle pan, it's going to get nice and crunchy, so giving mm. you that bit of texture as it cooks through. Beautiful. And on my side, I'm quite well on my way to creating this delicious sauce. I've added some of that tomato puree. I've added some brown sugar, still keeping that train, making sure that the sugar um, almost tries to cancel out the acidity mm -hmm. of that tomato. I've also added some uh, a Tabasco sauce. I love a little bit of a kick, a little chilliness in it. I've added some vinegar. In goes the Worcester sauce again. Dumi, you also have it on your side. Yes. Added it also on my side. Dumi, I also see you've given me some chutney, some garlic, um, just a whole lot of more South African flavors. This is because we're making a monkey gland sauce. Uh, Daniel, can I ask you to pass me that parsley as well? Definitely. We're making a monkey gland sauce, and this is what makes it's so unique. All these ingredients that we've added to it, the chutney, the Tabasco sauce, the Worcestershire sauce, <laughs> the tomato sauce, all of that makes the uh, monkey gland sauce so unique because of the flavors that we have. And I know a lot of companies have even bottled it. Yep. And it's become somewhat of a trademark here in South Africa as well. So I'm going to start forming these patties. Balisa, this is where we get This involved. is where the kids come yes, in. Yes, I'm loving and they it. love <laughs> the, the dirty work. They do, they definitely do. Bali, can I ask you just to uh, add a bit of our oil for me there so, just so I can cook yes. and fry our beautiful patties. Do you want to help me? I mean, yep. why not? Yep. I'm just... happy to do this. I mean, as we Take are creating this beautiful family-friendly meal, I have to find out from you, Danielle. Daniel, saying it to Danielle. <laughs> <laughs> Daniel, um, when it comes to takeaways, I do love a good takeaway. But also, I know Rolene is all about the healthy lifestyle. So is a recipe like this something that you can see being incorporated into your household? 
Definitely. I, while Chef was, to me was talking now, I was just looking forward to tasting it. <laughs> <laughs> That's the thing. I was just like, yo. And when he's hungry, he wants to eat now. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think he sounds like so many men in our household. There's just no patience. All about eating now. And Tommy, this brings me to my next question. We did something very different with these patties by adding rice. Mm -hmm. I can only imagine how much more filling it is, especially for those kids that are playing sports. But why the addition of rice? The addition of rice, Kalesa, so not only just for that nuttiness and that uh, flavor that's in it, but because it makes your dish go a long way, you yeah. know? If you don't have too much of the mince, adding the rice to it makes sure that it's a bulkier dish and it is still as nutritious. In fact, maybe we can start assembling our burgers here. So I don't know yeah. if you want to just pass me those burger buns there. Rolene, you've done Oops. a great job with slicing up our, our, <laughs> our tomato for Thank us. You. And do you think there's a formula with... with um, you know, layering a burger. I think whatever whatever works for you. Whatever works for uh, yeah, you. Yeah, I always start with the lettuce first. Perfect. The freshness at the bottom. Right. And then some tomatoes. Beautiful. It seems as if teamwork is what makes the dream work. This is a factory line from one station to another. I mean, Rolene, is this something very similar that we can see not only within your business, but at home? How do you balance the two? I think for us, the most important thing is that children know that each one plays a role. Mm -hmm. And they feel like, they feel confident in the fact that they also play a role. So I will always try to include them in making food. And then one day they will be happy to help their wives cook as well, like Daniel is doing now. <laughs> I'm very excited about that. <laughs> I love it. This is a recipe for success. Now, no more takeout for me. And if you are picking up what I'm putting down, then head over to afternoonexpress.co.za for the full recipe and ingredients list to this tasty, tasty dish. rice being added to these uh, patties, how soon or how late do we flip it over? You don't actually have to worry about that because you still, all you want to make sure of is that you get that beautiful char. They, they, they hold together very well. I love that. Now, couple, does anyone have a sweet tooth amongst you? Um, who doesn't? Guilty. <laughs> Guilty as charged. <laughs> that is what I like to hear. So you're going to want to pay attention because coming up, Chef Dumi is connecting with our favorite master chocolatier, Dimo Samantos, for a downright delectable dessert pairing.